let's create a simple options menu to your android app the first step of creating a menu is to define the xml layout of the menu yeah i'm going to create a new menu layout i'm going to go to rest and i'm going to create new resource folder and here i'm going to call the resource type to menu and i'm going to just uh, define uh, i'm going to name this as simple or simple options and i'm going to put this is a split view example and here i'm going to define the menu This uh, show as action attribute is an important thing in defining menu layouts because as you can see here with the change in this show, show as action attribute, you the, the layout of the menu will be changed. I'm going to call this settings button. And then I'm going to, uh, the, I will, uh, this will be a, the, a direct text. So I'm going to create this title as uh, settings. And then show a section will be show as section collapse section then i'm going to create a new another item id will be a uh, help ID help button item will be help and show as section to collapse section and then now I have already defined the uh, layout then I'm going to go back to the uh, main activity where I'm going to uh, go back to the activity where I want to uh, uh, inflate this menu. So I'm, I want to inflate this menu in the main activity. So I'm going to go back to the main activity. Now in the main activity, I'm going to inflate the menu. First, I'm going to call the on create options menu override method. I'm going to click o, control O. Here I'm going to select on options menu Sorry. on uh, create options menu inside the method I'm going to call menu inflator inflator was get menu inflator then inflator dot inflate r dot id dot simple r dot sorry r dot menu dot r menu dot 
simple options menu bundle sign menu then i'm going to return then i'm going to uh, add a click event to this um, options item option menu items and uh, to this i'm going to create i'm going to call another override method this will be a uh, on options item selected here inside this method i'm going to uh, create a switch statement uh, will be the item dot get item id item id and uh, first case is uh, r dot id id dot uh, add button i'm going to assign post here uh, text will be add new and then I'm uh, going to return true now I'm going to copy these three lines of code and uh, paste change I'm going to change this ID we got the settings button and I'm going to word which I'm going to change it to settings will be a help button And then I'm going to uh, define a default. Method. This will be return super options item select. So the now code is complete. This should work, and I'm going to check this with, uh, with my uh, emulator. Now the app is loaded. Let's check whether it's working properly. I'm going to click that button. Yeah, you can see the toast. Then let's see the other button. You can see that the toasts are working properly, and the code is functioning. And that's it for this video if you like this video like this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel